Hello, this week I wanted to get some jackdaws onto my canvas here in the studio and I noticed that there are a number of, of them in a field nearby. So you might say, well, why didn't you just go and take some photographs of them? And <clears throat> the thing is, what I notice when I'm sketching something is that I spend much more time observing. And the most important thing for me was to capture the gesture of the jackdaws. So the way they they move their head or they lift their feet. It's sometimes it's quite comical. Um, so watch to the end of the video and see whether I managed to do it. Yesterday I came to um, look at the jackdaws. There are a lot of jackdaws in this field and um, what I wanted to catch is their, um, the gesture. So these are really rough scribbles and I'm back again today um, trying to get some more details. Um, one thing about jackdaws is that they have these really clear bright eyes and um, they're not all black They're, they've got a kind of grey area so I'm trying to distinguish where the black and the grey area is and um, also again I'm always interested in their feet um, so it's like trying to catch um, how they're here, how their legs go. Yes, I am using a pair of binoculars because they don't come near enough for me to to get the details. Um, here they are. You can see the distance they keep away and how quickly they move. I have a few more minutes looking at the jackdaws and then try and remember them as best I can and then I'll go home and um, I've got them on my on one of my paintings so um, it's a mixture of catching something about them and the rest is going to be from memory. I've made underpaintings for three jackdaws so there'll be more detail going on them. And in this one I've used a little bit of imagination because I want him to be in that position for a reason. So what you need is time to observe, a bit of memory and a little bit of imagination and you should be able to get some kind of lightness onto your canvas. If the painting turns out alright, I'll post it on my Instagram account, hashtag oilpainterjoe. And if you're interested in my oil painting courses, have a look at the comments below. Thank you for watching and join me next week, especially if you're interested in watching clouds.